okay, but I'm really not comfortable with doing this video. Like, I'm not a gamer. I don't, I don't want people to find out that I really don't know anything about gaming. So, like, when I'm doing this video about GeForce Now, it's just going to seem like, yo, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, thank you. Welcome to uh, Mike Text It Out. We're going to do some GeForce Now testing. I'm going to, I have the free tier here. And we're going to have a look at it to kind of see how it performs. So we're going to do games now. Um, there's I like to do here on this channel where I game because I'm a gamer. Don't think anything else of it or about it. Games, Mike texts it out, 100%. Best gamer in the world. Let's go. Let's have this experience now. There's, there's, there's nothing on the screen. There's, there's nothing on the screen. What You have to... Turn it on. This thing isn't, this isn't doing anything. Like, I don't, what are we doing here? Okay, you're what supposed are we doing? to be playing games right now. So, uh, okay, I get, play the games. I get that I'm supposed to play the games, but I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to play games. I've been, we did this before. We did this before. Uh, sorry guys, we're experiencing some technical difficulties here on, on Mac Text It Out. Um, just give me a, okay, I don't know how to play games. I've, I've said this before. I don't know how to do this. So I can't do this GeForce Now thing for you guys. I'm sorry. I don't understand how gaming works. I'm not a gaming expert. Actually, there is someone that I can call that might be able to help us. Give me just a moment. Secret gaming man, the world is in peril. They need you. Don't worry, Mike. I've got it from here. This is Secret Gaming Man. And yes, I am back on the Mike Text It Out channel. Now, I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. It's been a long time, but when you're a secret gaming man, you just don't come for any occasion. You come to play games. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a GeForce experience. That was oddly aggressive but we're going to play some games on geforce now now the reason that i chose the macbook pro is because ideally if you were playing this on a pc then you could quite possibly run the game natively so i could see this geforce now okay being a service that maybe a mac user might appreciate and this is a little bit weird so when you actually launch a game here, at least if it's a Steam game, it treats it pretty much as a virtual Steam client. Like it's like a, like you're tapping into a virtual machine that's just running Steam. So the first game that we're going to test is Battlegrounds if it actually works. And it's telling me I have a spotty connection. Don't judge my connection, GeForce Now. Don't do it. Okay, there it is. Looks like the game finally launched. So, if you saw what I mean, it kind of treats it like a stripped down version of Windows.
Ah, there is my character. Alright, and I have secret gaming hands vision right here. So that way you can kind of get an idea of the speed of how long it takes to do all this stuff. But don't worry, don't feel intimidated because my hands move at the speed of light. So if you don't catch something, it's fine. That's why I'm a secret agent. Okay, I'm going to do solo because I'm so good that I don't want to, you know, outshine anyone that's just playing for fun. So I'm opting not to do squads. And the other thing is I'm opting to do it in this room because this room is actually where the router is. The router is right here. I am playing wirelessly because I believe that's the experience that a lot of people will have. Because this is more so designed like to play games, your PC games, outside of your home. So in a lot of cases, a lot of people are probably going to be in a wireless connection. Now, I do have a gigabit connection, but typically I get around three to 400 over Wi-Fi, 400 megabits. So it's still a better than average connection to be doing this on. And as you can see right here, I am picking up a little bit of lag, but in all honesty, so far, pre-match pre is not bad. And this game isn't really... This game is already a little bit, you know, tough to run to begin with. But so far, totally playable. And that's no secret. That's a secret gaming man tip. Just don't tell anybody. All right, here's the plane. Okay, now this. Now when all the other players have loaded in, oh boy, did experience some slowdown for a brief second when this plane loaded in. But we'll see. I'm not familiar with any of this, so what I like to do is just eject anywhere and then see what happens. You know what? This is quite the experience. Now the graphics aren't the greatest. There's a little, it's a little blurry, but this is very impressive considering that we're streaming this. Could this create the scenario of the ultimate PUBG LAN party? Up, oh, well, I'm about to die very soon. And I keep getting the spotty connection All right, at least I have a helmet, so. And a sticky bomb. I might be able to make this work. You know, sometimes as secret agents, we don't have all the tools that we need to survive. Oh, guns. I mean, oh, of course I have a gun, you know. Very skilled player. All right. Now it's time to win. See, winning, winning is not always about victory. There's personal wins, and I see this as a win for GeForce Experience. This doesn't have to be a win for me personally. This doesn't have to be a win for me personally you know what i don't know what the connection issue was with battlegrounds but considering that this is an online multiplayer game and in a lot of cases it really doesn't run great anyway that was actually a pretty good experience 
So I'm going to go ahead and exit the game, aka exit to desktop, and it really takes you into a kind of weird Steam interface. And then eventually it dumps you back out to the desktop. So Borderlands 3, I am curious about because I don't own this on Steam. I actually own this on Epic. So I'm going to watch this and see if it'll actually let me play this. So this is another part of the GeForce experience is kind of waiting for servers. Aha. So this does allow you to sign in with Epic. Now, give me a moment because I don't remember my login. All right, after the trials and tribulations of logging into the Epic Store, I am finally booting up Borderlands 3, and I'm curious to see if this controller is actually going to work. Okay, so there's already a bit of lag there, the menu, but I'm optimistic. So it looks like controller, at least on the MacBook, does not work. So let's hop into my game. Let's just kind of go around and get a feel for how this is. I don't know. I don't know why that keeps happening. Okay, so the delay is a lot more noticeable on a game with tighter shooting. When I'm turning the, the mouse here, it's just, it's not a one-to-one -one thing. But uh, this could possibly be alleviated by using corded peripherals. I am using a wireless mouse and keyboard. So let's see. This is actually... Even using the trackpad that's built into the MacBook is actually faster than the mouse that I'm using. So I would say that using wired peripherals is probably recommended in this situation. Yeah, it's barely playable with the wireless mouse. With the trackpad, I'm actually having an easier time playing with the trackpad right now just because of the lag with the mouse. Now you can see here there's still a bit of lag with even with the trackpad, but it's totally, totally playable. Then, of course, there are some choppy spots in the game. And there's also a few, there's also a few seconds delay as far as the key press and then when you start walking. But it's not like all so far the two things that we've tried have been playable. And that's all I'm really asking for here. Now there's one more thing that I want to try. All right, now this game is a bit older, but it's still kind of a goodie. I mean, I never finished Arkham Knight. I did finish Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, and then after Arkham City, I was kind of the, over the open world. I really preferred Arkham Asylum. I think that was the best one in the trilogy, but this is still a good game to test with. 
kind of action, you know, fighting people, punching people in the throat. That's why I like Batman. He's not afraid to punch somebody in the throat. And so far, my experiences with the wait time, at least for these three games that I'm testing, has been about a minute or two. So not too bad. Oh no, I may not be old enough for this material. So this is another weird thing that it makes you do. The first time you play a game up here, it makes you virtually install it. So let's go ahead and move through with the install just so you can kind of see how this is. And then it's pretty much instantly playable. So it makes you go through like a fake Steam install before you can play it. It's a little weird, but you know, we do what we have to do for gaming. But it is cool that it pulls over your cloud saves from Steam so you don't have to worry about losing your progress as long as the game supports cloud saving. Very cool, very secret gamery. This game isn't as bad as Borderlands with the the movements with the wireless mouse, but again, it's not a precision shooter. All right, time to punch people in the face. This is what Batman does. Okay, we did get quite a bit of lag during some of the heavy action. I don't know the controls with mouse and keyboard. Oh, come on, that's disrespectful. All right, so that was our GeForce experience. And the little time that I spent with those games, they were mostly playable now. The lag spikes were an issue, but I am on the free version of GeForce experience. And I know that the $5 tier gets you higher priority for the servers, but I don't know if that's just higher priority as far as you don't have to wait as long or if you actually get like, you know, less populated servers because that could potentially give you a better experience. Now, as far as the lag spikes, it could have been my internet because sometimes it does have issues dropping out or it could have been their service, but there wasn't really a time where it completely disconnected. So I think it still needs some work, but I think that you could technically get by on playing games this way. It's just not going to be the best experience, but I'm not complaining because right now I'm playing these games for free that I already own on Steam. Um, also the whole experience of signing into your account and then having this weird virtual machine pop up, it's a little, uh, it's a little strange, but it works. It gets the job done and I respect it. Now I'm curious to check out stadia when it fully launches because i'm not buying the founders edition i'm not rich i am a secret agent but we get paid per job and i haven't been on this channel in a while so in conclusion i think geforce now is a cool thing if you're curious about it then i would do a free trial because if you're in a less than ideal internet situation i don't know how this will really work and also if you're streaming like over lte on your phone I don't know how this will work either. Unfortunately, they're only on Android and I don't have an Android phone to test that with. But I did test it on my MacBook and I'm fairly impressed despite the issue. But if you enjoyed my presence in this video, please subscribe to Mike Text It Out so he will hopefully request me in more videos and I can be here with you. And remember to always do at least two things at the same time. You have a great day.